So welcome back to Novice Explorer Radio. The explorer's time in the Netherlands is nearly up, but not before they explore a 16th century fortress. Yes, Colin, the mercury will rise above 30 C in the next few days. Prepare for the decibels to rise too, with a loud musical morning alarm. So, it's a good morning from us. We have just left our park-up spot. Completely forgot to record anything this morning because we were getting hints and tips and swapping information with the guys we met and sort of, uh, yeah, just picking their brains a bit, really, wasn't it? Yeah, we have left richer in knowledge and information. Yeah, so now we're just driving towards a nature reserve. It's quite a drive south, about an hour or so. We need diesel, I would say. And today is apparently going to be very hot, so this hat and fleece probably won't be staying on much longer, hopefully. We managed to find a quiet spot near the local football pitch. We decided to get the bikes off and go on a little jaunt around the local area, go and see the uh, national parks and see what's cracking. The midday sun was scorching, so we waited till later on in the afternoon before heading off. The bikes allow us to explore without having to pack up the van and move base camp. If you don't have a bike in the Netherlands, you are the odd one out, or so it seems, but it's really great to see. We stuck around to watch the sunset from the nearby forest and were treated to a colourful display. Good morning. This has been our alarm this morning and we quite enjoyed it. Freaked us out. But... <laughs> Pretty nice, isn't it? It's as if it's been directed right at us. Woke us up anyway, didn't it? Yeah, you just missed Eye of the Tiger and um, Summer of 69. <laughs> are you dancing or are you ill? <laughs> yeah. I've had a good sleep, is the answer. We did have a bit of a fiasco with how hot the van was. Um, it's. It was cooler outside than it was in the van, but we were we didn't want to open up the doors to let all the mozzies in to cool it down, so. Yeah. Although we did get a bit regardless. Yeah. But it would have been much worse, wouldn't it? Yes. Aircon would be nice. Aircon in the van. One thing we didn't think about. Whoops. soon back on the road to find our next spot and civilization. We headed to Emmen to a free motorhome park up. Believe it or not, this is the same table, <laughs> the same wobbly table that we use inside the van. And it just so happens to almost fit perfectly onto the back step, but not quite. Mm, we we could do with something to block up that yeah. bit there, but... But beggars cannot be choosers. Working here in the shade has been actually rather nice. And because Meg um, finally got me to get the chairs out, um, we can enjoy this space properly. And it feels like what I imagined it would be more often. Yeah, we're happy today, aren't we? Yeah, it's good. We're catching up on things. found time to write our blogs, send emails and edit videos and keep on top of all of our boring admin. Good morning, if me and Meg are looking a little bit um, sweaty and a little less uh, clean it's because we are still in a very very hot part of Holland, Netherlands. Netherlands, yeah, we're in Emmen and we've been here for a couple of days. Mm -hmm. it's very, very, very hot. <laughs> very, very hot. <laughs> Which um, isn't like usually like, oh yeah, nice weather. But the thing is, we've had to park also a little bit more in the sun than we liked to get more solar. And the van tends to 
capture heat and retains it, isn't it? So it's been a bit tricky. And we've just had confirmation today that we can move into the diff a different country. Uh, we have to email our insurances to tell them that. So today we will first of all be picking up gas mm -hmm. and then moving on into Germany. Yeah, little gas bottle runner. Fortunately, Meg always carries spares, like the little uh, camping gas canisters. We have, I'm not sure if we'll need them, but we've got our passports out just in case because we're crossing the border. We're not far away now. The van is semi clean. We just want to get it all ready for the road trip into Germany. So, this is what we need to replace. And in the UK, it was £32. But after a little bit of research and good old asking dad, he says it's a lot cheaper in Europe. So we'll see if he's right and the internet is right. I bloody hope so, because I do not want to spend £32 on it again. Fingers crossed. Uh, just out of interest, how long did that one last you? Um, three weeks and six days. That's not bad for a little bottle. Yes. I think we could also, if we if we were sensible, we'd also buy a few more canisters today if they have them. Probably. We're going to try and go to, what is it, a mega camp? Mega camp. Yeah. Mega camp Netherlands. Yeah, which has, well, it looks like it's got everything. Yeah. So uh, hopefully we don't spend anything that isn't necessary. Yeah. We have discussed a table leg, but are we, gonna, are we just going to roll with it? We'll have a look. Uh, no, it wasn't much cheaper. I'm hoping that it's just the uh, same price as England in the Netherlands and hopefully cheaper down south. But uh, we picked up the gas bottle. A refill packs for the emergency one because we've only got one left and we're using another. And to keep the mosquitoes away, we got a couple of citronella candles. So not all bad though. So not all bad. And it was a great shop. It's like IKEA of camper vans. It was great but really hard because you know you can't spend anything and we haven't got any space for anything else, but pretty cool. So after about an hour's drive, we've arrived in the free car park that's just outside the fort. Yeah. Fort. Bhutan, Bhutan, Bhutan. Pronunciation is still uh, B -O -U -R -T -A -N -G. not a strong point. T A N G E. Anyway, it's an old fortress which, from above, because um, it's like quite moated, but it's in the formation of a star, so it looks pretty cool. So hopefully, we'll be able to see it from above later on. Yes. Wonderful, massive, free car park. So we just put the van in, put the screen cover on and all the thermal blinds because uh, mm. it's going to be sitting in the sun for a while because we wanted the solar. So uh, 32 on the dash and we're not allowed to camp here, but we'll be crossing over into Germany later. But for now, let's go explore this tiny weenie village. <laughs> Fort Bortange is a fortified village moated by a network of canals and lakes. It dates back to 1593 and it was built under the order of William the Silent to control the only road between Germany and Groningen, which in those times were controlled by the Spaniards. In 1960, the local government converted the village into a museum. It's free to visit and park. The 
fortress withstood two sieges. One of the distinct features of the fortress is its star-shaped layout. We are life hacking. Excuse the mess, but we've got our lunch there and our little fan. <laughs> Is that helping a little bit? Yeah. No? A little bit, but we've got a bit of breeze as well, so. Yeah. The cool thing about that little fan is that it's USB powered, so we're at the back of the van and we've just got one of these little battery banks and it's powering it. Lovely, isn't it? Not really taking the edge off, but every little helps. <laughs> yeah, it's a hat one. Oh, wasn't going to mention weather again, was I? Anyway, we're back in the van. We've got just over an hour's drive until we get to our next potential uh, stop. We're going to head for water, um, not drinking water, literally a lake. We want to jump in. Uh, Meg's got dirty little feet because you've been wearing flip flops, so she wants to wash those. And I'm quite keen as well because I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I'm pretty slick at the minute. Uh, that was You're always slick on. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lovely little village. Hopefully the uh, footage does it justice. We walked the whole of the circumference of the fort, like the high sides of like dikes. It's pretty cool. Yeah, lovely. As always, very picturesque. Mm. Um, Massive carps. Black yeah, carps about carps. that big. Fish. And yeah, it's nice to see, but uh, we're moving on. We're crossing borders. Don't know how it's going to go. Never done it before. Don't know if there's going to be checks or if we can just sneak in. Not that we have to do any sneaking, per se, but... <laughs> you sound well guilty. So we waved goodbye to the Netherlands. We found the locals to be extremely friendly and helpful. The towns and villages are some of the most picturesque we've seen. Our crossing into Germany was rather uneventful. We only realised when our phones notified us of our new German providers. We found a lake for me to take a dip and cool off. The last cigarette broken fall. The race gonna be really soon. The sun went down on another scorching day. So we've moved up the road to a designated camper spot which we'll spend the night in. It was pretty refreshing but it wasn't the cleanest. Um, it was quite muddy as well but I went in and had a nice little swim about and we're just settling down and getting ready for tea. And then what's next on the road trip? Next on the road trip is the fairy tale route through Germany. Looking forward to it? Yeah, should be good. Good night and God bless. Join us next time as we embark on Germany's famous fairy tale route. Like, subscribe, and comment. And don't forget to click the bell to receive notifications from our channel. Thanks for watching.